I'm Chris, aka Quilter on the Run, and normally I talk about quilting stuff, but there's not really anything normal going on at the moment, so today I'm going to talk about sewing. Uh, like a lot of people, I'm stuck at home with my kids. They're older now, they're, they're uh, in high school and college, but I remember when they were little being home with them, and it can be a bit of a challenge someday. So whether you're home with your children or maybe your grandchildren, in the case of my mother-in-law, uh, you're probably looking around for things to do. So when my kids were little, I made them each little apron so that they could help me when we were working on projects, uh, cooking or cleaning or other sort of things, and they absolutely love them. And they're super simple to make, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through it today. So, all you need for this are a couple of fat quarters. It doesn't even take very much fabric. And what you're going to want to do, depending upon how big the kit is, uh, and you can adjust as needed for size, but to, to fit most children under the age of about seven, this will work. So you need two pieces that are cut three inches by about 19. And these ones are going to be your waist tie strips. And then you're going to need two pieces that are cut three by about 15. Again, these ones are going to be the ties, but for the neck this time. Then you're going to take and you're going to cut two pieces that are about 14 by 20 or, or 13 by 20 to just close. And in this case, I used a contrast because I didn't have enough of the uh, spaceship fabric left over and I thought it'd be kind of fun to have it be reversible anyway. So I cut them both the same size and I've laid them together. Now I'm going to fold it in half. for this is more important you see my hands okay so I'm going to measure in from the folded side I'm going to measure in about three and a half inches and then I'm going to come down on on the raw edge side about eight inches okay and I'm just going to make a gentle curve doesn't have to be perfect just just a nice little gentle curve okay just like that and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut through all four level layers, as they're layered up like this, okay? And this is gonna give me my apron shape. Okay? So now we have this nice apron shape. The other thing you can do for it, and this is optional, but I think it's really kind of nice because I think everything ought to have pockets. I also cut uh, four squares because I make it reversible. You could just do two, but uh, I, I tend to do more is more sort of stuff. But so I cut four squares, uh, three inches square, and I'm gonna use those for the pockets. Okay, so now we're gonna start assembling it. Yep. First thing we're gonna do, if, if you did the pockets, is we're gonna take the pockets and we're gonna fold them over about a quarter of an inch on the sides and the bottom. And obviously there's no right way as to which is the side and the bottom at the moment, so we're just kind of deciding it. Randomly assigning which is gonna be the top and the bottom, okay? Now, the part that's gonna be the top, we're gonna to fold over the same way, and then we're gonna fold it over one more time, okay? And you're gonna prep all of your pockets like this. I kinda of like to work in, in an assembly line to make things go a little quicker. Uh, we're also going to, at the same time, uh, prep our tie strips for the neck and the waist. So you're going to want to fold them so that the right sides are together. Okay. And I like to just kind of press it down. Just makes it kind of easier to hold it to make sure it'll stay in place while I'm sewing it. I'm going to show you a little trick here on how to turn these. I'm going to take a couple pieces of thread. They need to make sure that they're long enough to hang off the end here. And I'm gonna put one right here in the corner where that crease is where I folded it. And I'm using a fairly thick thread. This is a, a King Tut's from Superior. Um, you can use a thicker thread, but you won't, won't wanna use a, a thinner thread. So make sure it's fairly sturdy because you're gonna be pulling on a little bit. And the second one we're gonna put over here right about where our seam allowance is gonna be, where the corner is gonna turn, okay? And then we're just gonna fold this up. And get ready to sew. So we got this right here in the corner. Okay. And we're kind of going to do a little back stitch just to hold it. And I'm just doing a little quarter inch seam on these. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same little back stitch to hold this one. And I'm going to flip it and come here. And I want to make sure now that I've got that trapped in here that I'm not going to catch it as I come down. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna turn right side out. So I got these four, I just gotta put my hand on them. And I'm just gonna flip this edge over. Now I know they make tools to stuff these through and stuff, but I never have the right sized one or the right diameter one and I can never find them. So this is just an easy way to do this. Just make sure that's down there like that. I'm just gonna pull it, keep pulling it into here. Once I get it all entirely into here, it goes really quick. He pops the corners out just all nice and pretty. I'm just gonna clip the threads off. And then you're just gonna press it flat. And you're gonna do all four of them the same way. We're gonna take our pockets and the top part that we folded over double, and we're just gonna run a little top stitch along the side to hold it in place. This will just give us a nice finished edge. And I tend to just strip sew these together. It just goes faster. Okay, so if you decide to put the pockets on, this is the step where we put them in. You want to put your, your fabric that you cut right side up and I'm just going to take one of my quilting rulers, because this makes it the easiest way to do this, and I'm going to go up about, oh, I don't know, three and a half inches or so from the bottom, three and three quarters. Okay. And then I'm just going to center my little pockets on them. Okay. So, about two inches in from each side. And then I'm just going to pin them into place. Okay, so I sewed around the, the outside three edges, obviously leaving the top open so you have your pocket, and I just went really close to the edge using a contrasting three edges because I thought it looked pretty. And now we're gonna pin our tie strips on. So the two longer ones go at the waist and the two shorter ones go up here at the top. You wanna make sure that you have the raw edges facing up. Because we're not quilting, we're sewing these. We're using a 5 8 inch seam because that's standard in quilting. So you wanna come in just about a little over half an inch. We're just going to pin them in place here. Okay. Actually, to make my life easier, I'm going to pin them from the opposite side. This will make sense here in a minute. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. I'm just, you know, about a half an inch in. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing, making sure I'm using the raw edges. And I'm going to come down here and put them just about five-eighths of an inch down. And I'm going to do that on both sides, same thing, pitting from this back side. Okay. And I'm going to tuck it in here because I don't want to get that caught in it when I sew. Same thing on the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to take my other piece that I already made and I'm going to put it right sides together, so pockets in. And I'm just going to line it up and pin it in place. And I want to make sure when I'm pinning this that these top pieces aren't getting caught in there. Okay? So you want to make sure that they're far enough back that they're not going to 
get sewn in your seam allowance. Need to pin every couple inches or so just enough to hold it into place we're going to pull them out as we actually sew because i don't know about your sewing machine but my sewing machine uh it's supposed to skip pins but uh, more often than not it tends to land on them and that's not a lot of fun when you break a needle plus it makes your stitches not quite as smooth now Take it all the way around here. And we'll just line it up. It's going to have a little bit of bulk in the middle because the, the straps are there, but that won't stay there when we turn it. Now I'm going to come back down to the bottom and I'm going to take out this pin right here in the middle leaving this big gap because that's where it's going to leave us room to turn it. Now we're going to go sew it. So I'm going to start on one side of that big gap and I'm just going to lock my stitches. It's really important to lock your stitches here because when you turn it otherwise you can pull those stitches out real easy. And then I'm just going to start sewing with my 5 8 inch seam lines. And when I get to the corner, I'm just going to pivot. Okay. Now, remember, I've got my pins on the back side on this part. Okay. So I'm just going to hold it in place here. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to back stitch a couple of times because we really want those ties to be firmly held in place. Okay, pivot. And the other side. And again, as I'm coming up here, I can feel where that strip is, and I'm making sure that I'm not going to hit it. Pivot. Take out those two pins and see why I had them on the back now so I can get it instead of having them stuck inside. And again, we're going to back up and stitch over this a couple of times to make sure it's really secure. Again, we're going to pivot on the point making sure that I don't have that cut under here. And I'm leaving this space open, but again, double stitching here to hold it in place. Okay. So we've got it all sewn. I'm just gonna clip these corners making sure though that I'm not actually clipping the seam line. Okay. And then we're gonna turn it right side out. press it and I like to start by pressing where I left the hole to turn it just so that I make sure it's nicely lined up okay so just okay and we're just pressing while these seams to make it lay flat Now 
Now we're gonna go around top stitch really close to the edge. And that's also gonna close this little hole here, okay? Okay. Just wanna make sure you're running right close to the edge here because that's what's gonna hold this hole through closed and make it so that there's no place for it to get caught. Okay, so we turn it right side around and we do this nice little top stitch all the way around it. We got the one side, the other side, there you go. Cute little apron. Uh, easy enough that you could actually have the kids help you with it, uh, or if not, just have made for them so that they can help you when you want to do some cooking these days or some craft projects, you know, things just to keep you busy around the house since we're all stuck here. Uh, and I uh, hope you liked it.